Now we're going to look at the first part of Unit 4, Section 8. And the first part of this is the quadratic formula. So let's just go ahead and look at the quadratic formula, do some examples. I don't think, I don't think the actual math portion or calculation portion of this will confuse you, but sometimes it can be a little confusing. It's just a lot. So you have to make sure that you're writing everything out and keeping up with all your signs, keeping up with your multiplication, stuff like that. So if you write everything out exactly like I do, I think you'll be fine. Um, so just make sure you pay attention to that. So the actual quadratic formula um, is given to you right here. And it is x is equal to plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Um, now you have to make sure that your equations are written in standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Um, sometimes in some of these problems you may have to rearrange things, but I think we should all be good with doing that. The next thing you're going to do is identify a, b, and c. And I would write those out, and then you're just going to substitute those into your formula and simplify. So we're going to look at an example uh, for you. And I'm going to try to help you out by trying not to give you as many fractions um, and ugly ones, but some of these are a little bit ugly, so you'll just have to, um, some of these you'll just have to grind out. So let's look at number one. So number one, we've got AX plus 2X. Or we've got x squared plus 2x minus 63 is equal to 0. So if we were going to solve this um, using the quadratic formula, the first thing we're going to do is make sure it's written in standard form, which it is. And then we're going to identify a, b, and c. So in this problem, a would be 1, b would be 2, and c would be negative 63. And then we're going to take those and plug those into the quadratic formula, um, which is written right here. So x is going to equal negative b plus or minus radical b squared, which is 2. So 2 squared minus 4ac, which is 4 times 1 times negative 63. And all of that is over 2a which would just be 2 times 1. So you can see how that can be a little ugly to write out, but I promise you, if you just keep up with everything, it's not too complicated. So now you're just having to simplify this. So make sure you remember orders of operations when you're, when you're simplifying. Um, we'll keep negative 2 plus or minus the same. We have to work out everything that's in the square root first. So first thing we're going to have to do is 2 squared, which is 4. Minus 4 times 1 times negative 63, which would be positive 252. And you can just plug that in your calculator. All over 2 times 1, which is just 2. And now we need to just keep simplifying. simplifying. So x is going to be equal to negative 2 plus or minus. Let's actually add what we've got in parentheses, or what we've got in the square root together. So 4 plus 252 would be 256 all over 2. So if we keep reducing this, the square root of 256 would be 16. So we'll be left with negative 2 plus or minus 16 over 2. Now we've gotten this pretty much simplified as much as we can. We can go ahead and um, we can go ahead and start getting our two answers and simplifying this. So we've got um, let's see. So on the top, if you'll notice, we have a plus or minus, so that means that we're going to have two cases. So we'll have negative two plus 16 over 2, and we'll also have negative 2 minus 16 over 2. So that's going to give us 14 over 2, which is just 7, and then that will give us, what, negative 18 over 2, which is negative 9. So those are our two answers. So we rewrite those. X is equal to 7, or actually it would be negative 9. And seven. 
Those would be your two answers. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to give you clean answers, but to be honest, you only use quadratic formula when you're going to get an ugly answer. So um, quadratic formula is pretty much used as the last resort, and typically you'll get like imaginary numbers with that. So let's do one of those. So I'm going to do one of those for you to see how it's done, but I don't, I don't think you're going to struggle too much with this because we're pretty much combining everything we've done thus far with square roots. Um, so let's look at number 12. First thing we need to do with 12 is put it in uh, standard form, and we should all be able to do that by now. We would end up with 5x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, we need to identify A, B, and C. So, I'm going to do some of this off to the left so you can see it. So, A is going to be 5. That's just the coefficient of our x squared term. B is going to be the coefficient of our x term, which is negative 4. And C is going to be uh, 4. All right, so now that we've identified those, we're just going to plug them into the quadratic formula which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus radical b squared minus 4ac, and that is all over 2a. And please use that formula that I gave you to help you because uh, it's really easy if you just identify everything and plug it in. So x is equal to uh, negative b, so I'll be a negative in front of a negative 4 plus or minus radical b squared, so it would be negative 4 squared minus 4ac, a is 5, c is 4, and all of that is over 2a, so it would be 2 times 5. Um, Alright, so now, once you've set that up and plugged everything in you just have to simplify and just make sure like I said when you're simplifying you just have to keep up with everything so let's use order of operations to solve this so x is equal to you can go ahead and do this part which is negative 1 times negative 4 which would just be 4 plus or minus let's go ahead and simplify everything in the radical so we've got let's see we've got 4 Actually, let me do this. Let me do this in a different color so you can keep up with what I'm doing. So x is equal to, let's do this part first. That would give us a 4 plus or minus. Let's do everything in the radical. So the first thing in the radical, we've got negative 4 squared. That would be 16 minus. Now we've got negative 4 times 5 times 4, which would give us a... Mm, let's see, let me find it. That would give us negative 80. And all of that is going to be over 2 times 5. So that's all over 10. And now we just need to keep simplifying. So we will bring this down. So 4 plus or minus is going to come down. That's not going to change. We need to continue simplifying what's in. Um, our square root. So that's going to be the square root of 16 minus 8, which is the square root of negative 64. And all of that is over 10. So now here you'll notice how this can get a little ugly because this square root of a negative number, we, we just learned that we can't do that. It's going to give us an imaginary number. Or we can do it, but we do it with imaginary numbers. So this problem is going to give you imaginary numbers, and typically that's kind of how it goes with quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is used for these types of situations. Um, but I think we should all be good with this because we just did it. I don't, I don't think it's too complicated. So let's solve this, um, or let's keep simplifying this. So we'll be left with x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 64. The square root of negative 64 is just 8i all over 10. And now we are almost done, except we can reduce this. Um, 
And the best way to explain reducing this is to look at this fraction as if it were 4 over 10 and 8i over 10. Because that 10 goes with both of those. And we can reduce this down. 4 over 10 reduces down to um, 2 over 5. So it's going to be x equals 2. And 5 will be on the bottom. And 8 over 10 also reduces down uh, to 4 over 5. So that would be 4i over 5. So now, I guess another way you could look at this um, is we've got 4 plus or minus 8i over 10. Another way you could look at this is to break each of them up. So 4 over 10 plus or minus 8i over 10. Those two are the same exact thing. So that's the best way to go about reducing these, is either look at them as two separate fractions over 10 that way, or just split them up like this. And then you can reduce each fraction down, because then you'll see 4 over 10 is 2 over 5, plus or minus 8i over 10 is just 4i over 5. And then you can put this back into the form of 2 plus or minus 4i over 5. So hopefully that makes somewhat um, sense. It's a little confusing. It's an odd thing to, to wrap your head around sometimes. Um, but that's how you deal with those types of problems. So our final answer would be 2 plus or minus 4i divided by 5. And this is, um, this is probably the hardest type of problem you'll have to deal with with quadratic formula. And really it's just because they throw i in there. Um, and sometimes the square roots don't come out nicely, but we'll go over examples from the homework and all of that. And I don't think you'll have too much problem with it, um, but we'll work through more examples in class.